Hi, we're going to go over the course syllabus right now. So first off is the instructor information. So your instructor is me, Eva Kimball. You can call me Professor K. You can contact me either by emailing me at ekimball at olympic.edu. You can also call or text my work phone, which is 360-329-2423. This is a Google phone number. And also I have my Zoom meeting ID, or you can just go ahead and click that Zoom meeting link. My office is in building eight, also known as the HSS building in room 335. So here we have a list of course objectives. So by the end of this course, you should be able to complete all six of these course objectives. These are kind of big picture ideas. Each of them is going to be broken down into little, little ideas um, that are going to be implemented in learning outcomes for each module. Now for the required materials and prerequisites, all the textbooks for this class are online and free. You can get them printed if you want. Um, it'll cost you like 30 to $40. So the first one is Advanced High School Statistics, second edition. If you click on that link, it'll take you right there. Um, this one's a little bit easier to read. It's got a lot of great examples, as well as some videos. The only thing that isn't great about it is that it's not super friendly for screen readers. So if you're visually impaired, you might want to look at the introductory to statistics text instead. It also has a lot of really great examples, but it's a little bit more heavy on the math. All the technology that you're going to need in this course is also going to be completely free. In each module, I have a link that takes you to um, free web sources that will do the calculations and data that you need. However, um, I downloaded Statcato, which is really great because it's really super user friendly. Um, all the outputs look the same, so you don't have to bounce between different websites. But if you don't feel comfortable downloading something on your computer and you'd rather just use the ones that I have linked, that's totally fine. Uh, Desmos is also a great platform that's going to do most of the work that we need to do in this class. The reason it is so great is because it is really compatible with the screen reader and it can even make graphs sing. So check that out if you're interested. The proper prerequisite for this course is listed here. So Math 99, Math 98, um, or a Math 99i within the last six years or a good placement score. The grades are weighted, so your homework, which is always going to be due on Fridays, is worth 50%. Exploration assignments also due on Fridays are worth 20%, and exams are going to be worth 30%. So even though each of them get points, they're going to be weighted differently throughout your overall grade. Now, remember, the due date is not the DO due date. So exploration assignments should be done earlier, before the homework, so you get a really good idea of what you're getting into and what the material is actually about. Here's a breakdown of the GPA score points that you need. The weekly expectations of this course is that you check the Canvas course page and your email on Canvas and Olympic College at least every other day. I really like to send out announcements that way. So if you're checking there, then you're going to be most up to date on things like if my office hours change, if there's a due date change, if there's, I don't know, a snow day, anything like that. All of the materials required per module are in the modules, so when you go there, it's going to have everything that you need. It's going to have the websites for calculations, it's going to have the reading, the lecture videos, the homework, the quizzes, and the exams. So the general rule of thumb is every hour um, that you have for credits is one to two hours that you're going to spend on that class per week. So since this is a five credit course, you're expected to spend five to ten hours per week on it, sometimes more, sometimes less. Each module is going to have a chapter that you need to read, one to two hours of video lectures, as well as activities and homeworks that you need to complete. What you should do is that you should be writing all of your lecture notes, just like you're in a regular lecture course, in a notebook as writing down information physically it really helps you to retain it and also helps bring up any questions that you might have. So I was in school for a very long time, so here's my suggestion on what you should do to make sure that you're successful. So the first thing you should do is look over the homework. Yes, that's right, look over the homework. It's gonna give you an idea of what you should focus on and what's going to be asked of you. Then I would watch one to two lecture videos. The next day I would look over the homework again, watch the rest of the lecture videos. Wednesday I would go over the lecture videos, but then if I already watched them, I would skim over the text. So sometimes the text has information that's not included in the lecture videos, or just a different way of saying it that you might think is easier for you to understand. So skim over the text, test, text. Then on Thursday, so one day at least before the homework is due, 
I would spend one to two hours to complete the homework. That way you have Friday to ask any questions before it's actually due. And on the weekend, take some time to sweep, mop, fold laundry, do something to catch up on your life stuff. Remember, this class you can work as far ahead as you like. So my big recommendation is maybe one weekend work ahead so that you can push some of these dates back a couple days. So maybe you can email me a question on Wednesday instead of Thursday or Friday so you can get ahead of the game and you have more opportunities to ask for help. Now, life happens. That's totally understandable. Late work policy is that you can turn it in up to four days after the due date for a 50% penalty. After that, it will just be a zero. You have a lot of resources to you as an OC student. You have tutoring where you can go. That's all free. Uh, tutoring right now is strictly online due to COVID. Okay. If you click here, you can get all the tutoring information, hours, locations, things like that. If you have an issue with Canvas, if it's not working for you, if you're having technical difficulties, if you just want to get a little bit better at using it, you can go to the IT desk. They will also help you with any tech services you need, such as login support, laptop checkout, anything like that. For student help, if you need anything that's not related to the course or to IT, this is where you would go. They can help you get food, find affordable housing, get counseling, any of that stuff. Remember, all of this is free to you because you pay tuition. All right, for communication expectations, you guys are expected to email me through your Canvas or Olympic College email. Okay, otherwise I don't know it's you and it's a privacy issue. You should be checking Canvas messages um, as well as the announcements, which are on the left-hand bar of the Canvas website every other day for updates, just in case something is to happen or there's a study group. Communications are expected to be courteous, professional, constructive, and detailed in their purpose. So for example, if you email me and you say, I don't get it, that's not constructive because you're not offering a solution. You also don't have an actual purpose, right? You're just saying something. But if instead you said, hey, can you help me get started on module five, question seven, well, that has something constructive. It has something that I can do, and it also has a detail in the purpose. You can expect me to return communications within 24 hours, and I check my email regularly Monday through Friday, nine to five. Do take weekends off, so if you email me Saturday, that's totally fine. I'm not gonna get upset at you. Just don't expect a response until the following Monday. For minimum technology requirements, so to be successful in this class, because it is an online course, you need to be able to send and receive emails, copy and paste images into a Word document, save files as PDFs, upload and download Word, PDF, and Excel files, copy and paste using Control-C and Control-V functions, and know how to use the print screen function on your computer. If you need any help or assistance in learning how to do any of these things, you can either ask me or you can email the help desk at olympic.edu and that is where you can get help from the IT folks. If you have any questions on additional policies, either regarding student complaints, grade appeals, or anything that has to do with non-discriminatory sexual misconduct, disability, pregnancy, anything like that, or related accommodations, you can click on these links here. At the very bottom of the syllabus, we have all of the due dates for the course and what is happening. However, while this is a really nifty um, guide for what is due, always go to the module page so that you can see all of the support materials that go along with that homework. So you're not going to do well in the homework if you don't look at the overview, the videos, the reading. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, shoot me an email at ekimble at olympic.edu.